As a lot of you know, the Han Solo film, which has been codenamed Red Cup, has hit a huge bump in the road, to put it lightly. It was announced recently that the directors Phil Lord and Chris Miller have left the project, and this creates a lot of questions about the film moving forward. Lord and Miller have released a statement about their exit, stating that creative differences led to them leaving. Captain Kennedy said about the same thing in the statement that she released. Now this is of course where the rumors start to swirl, and I don't want to add fuel to the fire when talking about this, but people do like to believe that they were actually fired. But I want to think that they left willingly, mostly because when you look at other films that they were at the helm of, especially along the lines of the Jump Street series, I don't think that that would translate well into a Star Wars setting. Now the first important thing to remember about this is Han Solo is not cancelled. A lot of people had this fear after a similar situation occurred with the Boba Fett film, there is no need to worry about this in regards to Han Solo. Now the biggest situation right now is who will be the next director of the movie. No names are rumored as of right now, but I personally do have a few suggestions as to who I think would be the best fit to direct a Han Solo story. My first suggestion is Scott Derrickson, who directed Doctor Strange that released in November of last year. I think what was conveyed with the imagery, the storytelling, etc., that could translate very well into a Han Solo story. Now, the next director I would suggest is a bit of a stretch, but we're extremely welcome to the Star Wars family, and that is James Gunn. Everyone knows that he is responsible for the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 and 2, which are my favorite movies in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and both are exactly the feel that I would love to see in a Han Solo movie, which is comedic, action fact, and excellent storytelling. These are just a couple of suggestions for who I think would be great to bring in on a Han Solo movie, but it's really something that we have to wait and see. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if we find out something before or during D23, which is the huge annual Disney Expo, along with whatever the 2020 Star Wars film will be, that's purely speculation on my part. I want to hear from all of you. Does hearing the exit of Phil Lord and Chris Miller worry you at all about the Han Solo movie? And who would you like to see brought in as the new director? If you enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button and share with your friends to get them in on the conversation as well. If you haven't already, subscribe to the Marauders Guild and ring the bell so you're notified of whenever we upload. Hope you all consider making this your new home for Star Wars. Until the next time, may the force of others be with you.